Spread the word, guys. Neo curl. No, don't say that. I don't know what else to say. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's video. I'm in my office for the first time filming. This is not a definite setup. I'm just kind of still playing around. Don't know that I like this background. Don't know how I feel. Um, but we're playing with it, and we're going to check it out. So, today, I cannot believe there are only days left to 2021. Good riddance to 2021. Not saying it was a terrible year because again, as I keep saying, I get to, I got to spend time with my kids. Um, but it was a good year in that they all moved on. We all figured our plan out in 2021. So in a way it was a good year. Um, and you know what, why start next year? I'm gonna start today. Today's the day, don't say Monday, don't say tomorrow, next week. Today we gotta start, that's my mentality now. I've been starting things that instead of saying, I'll start January 1st, no, I'm trying to start today. Don't put off what you can do today, right? Okay, let's just get on with the today's video. So today is about fourth quarter products that I, that I reviewed and that I liked. So we're gonna get on with this and then in a couple of weeks, we're gonna do all like maybe the top 10 products that I liked of 2021. <laughs> but first we gotta do the last three months because it's only fair. I gotta be honest with you. I don't think that I really reviewed so many hair products as I normally would this quarter. I just, I don't think I did. I normally have so many hair products and I don't even have a lot of makeup review products. I just, I guess I did a lot of little different videos, but um, we'll go through it and we'll see which ones made the cut. I'm not gonna talk about the ones that didn't because that's just not nice. Let's just get on with it. Again, I'm not gonna do this in any order. Um, let me just start with makeup because I don't have a lot, so I'll just uh, go ahead with that. I did a video trying out Merit Beauty's makeup and I still use it. This lipstick, this lipstick I use all the time. Like this is a beautiful color. All this, and it's so tiny, so I just throw this in my pocketbook. This comes with me everywhere. I've been venturing out with new colors. I know my favorite one is from Milani, Soft Rose. Um, but you know, you gotta venture out a little here and there, you know? And I have been loving it. So I use that lipstick all the time. If you watch my channel, I'm not the biggest fan of blushes, but I have been lately. I've been like loving blushes, and I like this one a lot. It's easy to put on from Merit and I like it mostly because it's not very pinky or red, because then I just feel like my mother's red rouge. She used to call this rouge blush, but I have been liking blush a lot more than usual, and this is a really nice one. Um, I do have their stick here for a quick foundation in the morning. What a cover, this is amazing coverage. Quick, boom, 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 just like going out, and even on weekends I've been using it. Loving it. I did get a mascara, but <laughs> I lent that to my daughter, and guess what? They moved, so I guess they took that with them. Real nice. I did try some, a couple of tools out from Beauty Junkies. This, by far, is my favorite new brush. I literally need to clean this because I have cleaned it once. So bad, I know, you're supposed to clean it like a little more often, but it's new, and I use it for everything because I had an old one that literally I used for years and I just loved it and now this has replaced it, finally. Um, it's a flat kabuki brush. I use it for foundation, I use it for concealer, and that's probably it. But those two really are the main makeup products that I feel like I go in with every day, you know? I do use my hands a lot, but when I, concealer I don't. I'll put, I use my hands for um, primers, etc., and foundation, but I don't like to use my hands for concealer. Concealer, I always use this. Or a sponge, and I did get a sponge with them, and this worked lovely as well. The only reason I might not use it as much is because I'm lazy and I have to get up and wet it, and I forget. So I get into like my sponge modes, I change it up. Sometimes I'll be in the sponge mode and I'll always wet, because it'll be before I even sit down, I'll wet it. But I haven't been in the sponge mode, so I sit down and then I look at it and I'm like, I'm not getting up again. So we're gonna go in with this. And that's what I do. Uh, I guess right before hair, I just wanna do, I just wanna show you quickly, because I didn't do many clothing hauls either, because where the heck am I going? But 
I do plan on doing a lot more this year, and I already have one coming up, which I'm very excited about. I didn't even open the box yet, and there's so many clothes in it. I think I spent more money on this order than on any other clothing order, and I don't know why. It's weird, but we're gonna see, and I hope I love everything. I do hope I do, so look out for that video. That's gonna be coming next year. So I did absolutely love these Elf, these tops that I got I don't even know you wouldn't really call it a top because you obviously have to wear something underneath it but little like coveralls I wore these when I went away to Jamaica and I kept them out because to me I could wear them all year round I wear them in the winter with long sleeve I could wear them in the summer with a little tank top I absolutely love these two tops they're like pullovers very careful you have they're knitted they're beautiful they're just like delicate beautiful a great pop of color loving them i also got um from them i'll have to stick a picture in because i packed it away at my summer clothes uh for the beach i'm blanking out on the name what to call them like wraps to just like wear you can wear them as a dress and i showed in the video when i wore it it was my jamaica video my trip to jamaica you can wear this thing like so many different ways and i just like tried a few different ways but there's so many other ones but again that's packed away with my summer stuff so that's that i guess we're just gonna get on to hair okay again no rhyme or reason i'm literally just going where my hand goes so here we go this is sky organics curl care bouncy curl cream i really did like this product um i have to use it more often and keep it out yeah i really i have been using this a lot but again as i get more products and i kind of haven't gone, used this very recently but I know that I do like it so I'm going to leave this out in my use up pile. Uh, this product I did very recently, Matrix Total Results, Results A Curl Can Dream. Loved this and I love that there's so much of it because I'll have that forever. This is a moisturizing cream for curls and coils. It has Manuka honey extract in it and it really did moisturize and keep my hair very nice and it kept it all day. Good product. L'Oreal Leave Total Repair 5. This is a protein recharge leave-in conditioner. I really love this a lot. Here we go. Whenever I get down to a certain amount, I stop using it because I want to save it. Um, but I'm sure I could use this a few more times. This was really good. This has a protein and almond oil. It's a heat protectant as well. This is, again, this is great to protect from the damage that's done in your hair. This protects it and it helps repair it as well. This has protein and almond oil and it helps with weak, fried, brittle, tangled, and split ends. I really did like this. And again, this is great L'Oreal. You could just get it at your local drugstore. Lucetta. Lucetta Keratin Leave-In Conditioner. I did like this. Uh, smoothing and Nourishing Formula. This is free of sulfates, parabens, and for fine and dry hair. I don't have fine hair, but it does my hair good. Um, I didn't think it was gonna work because it's a pump, but if you spray a lot or just like I do, open the top and just pretty much pour it in your hand, depending on if you want a lot or not. If you have fine hair, then definitely don't use a lot. I've got this at like TJ Maxx as well as a couple of other items. And one of them being Oleology. I did a video on this and I, I really felt like it was gonna be my new favorite. It made my hair look so good. And I remember the next day, I'm not a fan of second day hair, but the next day I woke up and my hair still looked pretty damn good considering that I slept on it all night and that never happens to me like I'm talking I didn't even have to put extra in and it looked that good um, it's interesting though because as I kept using it I still liked it don't get me wrong but I wasn't wow like I was that first time I don't know why um, I felt like you could feel it in there in your hair a little bit more than the first time but I still really 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 like this but when I said the first time I used it I was like blown away I'm like my hair looks like the best it's ever looked I've used it again many times and it looked good. It did look good, probably not the best though. So it's still on my top list though of products, uh, like a weekend product to use, et cetera, et cetera. I want to show you my new blow dryer that comes in my travel bag and I do leave this with my, um, cause it, this thing is so light, it's ridiculous. So whenever I go away, short trips, long trips, this is coming with me without a doubt and it's also more compact easier to pack but it's really 
really a great dryer. It dries my hair a lot quicker. I use the diffuser which is sold separately, but I do use that one every day because it's huge and I love it. It just sucks all my hair up. Skinstore.com, that's a website where I got amazing things on. This is the Body Butter from Espa. They have all different brands on there, by the way. I just, I mean, I love any Body Butter, but this one is just, and it looks so nice on my counter. I know that sounds silly. I mean, along with the Nest diffuser in my bathroom between this and that, I love it. Check out that video if you haven't seen it. I have the candle here. I use it, you can see, all the time. I got an amazing hair turban from them, and as well as I got facial masks, which I did use already, so <laughs> can't show you that right now, but you can go check out that video and see my de-stress day of all the stuff I got from skinstore.com. And they have so many other things on there as well. A ton of stuff. And I will leave a link for a discount code below um, for that. We have, I, you know, I forgot, I did shorts too, which might not, might not have done a full video on, so if I uploaded it, I'm gonna go over them. I did a pumpkin enzyme mask from these guys. It's D-R-M-T-L-G-Y. It's like the word dermatology only squished and missing some letters, so I don't know how to, I should be saying it, but I really enjoyed this mask, and that was a fun video to make as well. And um, speaking of skincare the three ships beauty is is a name brand that I've been loving lately um, I have the mask here I have a lot of masks. I like masks now I'm obsessed with doing masks but my I did go over this actually in my last video so apologies for repeating but this was you know something I talked about so three ships um, I use this calm lavender toner all the time like every day every day and every night. I do. I, I don't know. It just makes me feel like my skin is toned and even and ready to prep for the next steps, which I have some oils here. I've been using the rosehip oil. This is 49% rosehip. I usually just do this during the day. And then I've been using this one lately, which this is a vitamin C. This has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So that's always a plus. And it's like more of um, a thick serum. So it's not like as watery. It's not like an oil. It's a serum. Okay, so I believe everything has been covered for the last three months that I reviewed and that I liked. Guys, again, if it's not on here, I didn't like hate it and despise it. You could see the video and if it was okay, it was okay. If it irritated me for some reason, it was too drying. I'm not going to show you guys because I only want to show you guys products that are really worth buying and that's on today's video. Um, there might be a product again that I reviewed and it was okay, but it, it just wasn't good enough to get on this video, sorry. Um, but that's that, and I just wanna say I hope you enjoyed this year of my reviews and my videos, and I'm so excited to start another year very soon with you guys. I really am, I wanna thank you all um, for another fun year, and I'm looking forward to 2022 a lot, I really am. I guess I'll just tell you guys why not. I'm not working my full-time job anymore as of January. I decided to stay home and really push on my YouTube and all of this, New York Curl, etc., etc., Instagram, TikTok, all that, all the above. So I really am going to be into this a lot more. Expect more videos. Not so much more videos a week on YouTube. I'd like to keep the two videos a week going. I do uh, Sunday and Thursday. But I'm definitely going to add some more things to it. I want to add more skincare because I, I've i really gotten into skincare and I know I'm like, oh, I'm never going to change my skincare. I love it. But I've been trying some things and I've, I don't know. I want to go over that. I have videos coming up in the next year about skincare, skincare products I've been using and loving, uh, tools that I've been loving. What else? Um, I wanna do more hauls, clothing hauls. We're still gonna keep doing the curly hair videos, but I wanna do more videos for m like a broader range of you guys. You know, the mature skincare. Again, I don't get Botox, I don't get fillers. I never have, and I probably never will, but never say never, but I know I won't. I know me. I don't like needles. That's all I'm going to say. In my face, especially in my face. But 
I just want to age naturally. It's just the way that I want to do it. And if you get work done, then good for you because you're gonna look a lot better than I am. I can tell you that. I really need to look into good skincare. So that is my plan for the next year. Skincare and uh, just all beauty stuff, all beauty related stuff. I love showing you guys home decor, but I haven't really, I, th I guess my only project is this office. I have to de decorate it. It has zero decor in it, zero. It's like just bare bones. Um, so maybe, you know, again, I really would like to get feedback from you guys because most of my videos, since this is the end of the year, we'll have a little chit chat. And if you don't want to listen to me babble, because I can babble a lot, you could, happy new year to you. And come back to you guys who want to stick around and hear me, like he always do. I just want to get a little more casual. Let's take the hair down. I, you know, I took my hair down. I left my hair down and then earlier and then I felt like, oh, I kind of wanted my hair back today, but we'll just put it back down again because I don't, whatever. I'd love for you guys to tell me if, how you feel about like my videos being, you know, a review and then a vlog style. Do you like vlogs? I did a vlog last week. I just wanted to see if you guys like it. I could do more vlogs, but if you're not into the vlogs and you just want me to get right to the products, let me know. Let me know below if there's anything you'd love for me to try um, besides beauty products. I don't know what else would there be though. I don't know. My main focus is just, you know, to try products out for you guys and let you know if it's worth trying or not and you know where you can get some nice clothes and all that from so i really want to expand this next year and then so on so let's hope for that i hope you guys stick around <laughs> i do it's been fun and it's going to continue to get more fun so that's that i have more time now i don't have kids in the house i don't have to worry about my laptop come january and yeah like it's just me, it's me, and I could do all the work I wanna do, which is very exciting, I'm very excited, and that's that. So, I did ramble on again, as usual, so let me go, and I will see you guys in the next video in 2022. Yes, it will be 2022 for my next video. So, I will see you then. And coming up will be all my favorite products of 2021, and then some. Okay, guys, thank you again. Thank you, thank you again. And I hope you have a pleasant, wonderful, blessed holiday season to 2022.